Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show we're going to make us some homemade yogurt. And this is going to be a uh, plain yogurt. And in my Dutch oven I've got it on medium heat. And I've got a whole gallon of 2% or whole milk. This is 2% here in the Dutch oven. And that's the only milk that will work. The skim milk won't work. So I've got my candy thermometer hooked to the... Dutch oven and I've got it that the bottom of the candy thermometer ain't touching the bottom of the pot so I got it clipped to the side and we're just slowly bringing it up and stirring it a little bit with a little rubber spatula to 200 degrees Fahrenheit that's what we want to come up to and you have to have a candy thermometer unless you're good at knowing the stages of, of candy making and stuff I recommend you use a candy thermometer. So you don't want to bring this to a bowl. You just want to bring it almost up to a bowl. And then uh, when it reaches 200 degrees. See we're already up. We're almost up to 100 degrees. So I'm letting it come up slowly. You don't want to rush this. Because you'll scorch it and stuff. So when it reaches 200 degrees. I'll show you on the thermometer. Then I'll show you the next step. Okay, it's at 200 degrees. Now I'm going to slide it off this burner. Even though I turned it off. I'm going to let it sit for about 5 or 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put the bottom of the pot in an ice bath. And we're going to bring it down to a, um, to a lukewarm, which is about 112 to 115 degrees. And then that it has to be that low to do our next step. He's already down to 150 degrees. But remember, we want to get him down, cool down to between 112 to 115 for the next step. So this is some cold water that he's down in. I don't want it up to the top. So you don't want water to get in here. Uh, more milk to mess up your yogurt. But I'll slip some more ice cubes down in there around it. And keep stirring it and watch it come down to the degrees I need it to be. The dough won't go to the next step. Okay, we're already down past 115, but not quite past 112. We're at 113 Fahrenheit. So now you want to take a cup of your warm milk and put it in a bowl with a cup of, since I already don't have a lot of culture yet, um, store bought plain yogurt and we're going to mix it and eventually you won't need the store-bought yogurt you'll be so when you keep doing the making your homemade veggies of yogurt you can just save a cup of your homemade yogurt to make another batch of yogurt now we're just going to take this and whisk it into your milk but you need some live um, yogurt cultures to make yogurt. So that's why you need some from the grocery store. Or if somebody gives you some homemade. Or from your homemade to make another batch. Just want to make sure it's mixed real good. We put our lid on our Dutch oven. And it's going in the oven. The oven is off. You never turn your oven on. The only thing that's going to be on in your oven is your oven light. That will keep it up to temperature, not to spool. Let it just do its little thing. Make your yogurt. And you leave it in the oven with the oven light on. Um, about four to six to eight hours to even up more overnight. Your oven light will keep it up to temperature and it won't spool on you. So here we go. In the oven it goes with my oven light on. Okay, it's morning and our yogurt is done. And when I eight hours, look how thick it is. You're gonna want to come in here with a spoon and stir it real good. And then you put it in containers and put it in your refrigerator, and it should last up to two weeks. We like to have ours a bowl of this 
for breakfast with granola and fruit on it and drizzle of honey. We like it for snacks. And then also I like to cook some dishes with it. And we also use this sometimes when I don't have sour cream. We use this on top of tacos and stuff that calls for sour cream. Look how creamy this is. And it's plain. Um, the reason I want it plain is because I'm going to um, use some of it for uh, fajitas tonight. And then if you want it sweet, you can drizzle it with honey. Or if you want the whole batch sweet, then just put your, your uh, sweetener of your choice in here. Stir it up and let it sit and let your sweetener dissolve to your desired taste. There you have it. It's easy to make your homemade yogurt.